So here with Tom, one of our fitters, and we're going to discuss shaft flex. So shaft flex is one of the things that our customers are most concerned about when they come in, or certainly historically have been. Yeah, it's something they bring up a lot when they come into the fitting. It's all about what do they need, regular, soft, regular, stiff, extra stiff. Um, definitely something that we see a lot more of in the fittings rather than talking about weight. So we're going to discuss how mm. flex can really play a part in the fitting process, but also probably unearth a few uh, things that you might not think about in flex and change your mind about selecting regular stiff and extra stiff mm. and things like that. Yeah, it's something that, that over the years has been talked about. You know, it's probably the predominant torque or shafts has been about flex and, yeah. and the influence on performance. So um, you know, we've got two shafts here which are you know, within a gram on weight. We've selected to be as, as similar as possible in terms of you know, balance profile and dead weight. So you've got a, a TPT, the 19 high and the red series, which um, you know, a, a, a softer flex. And we'll do a measurement on the flex just to kind of show exactly how much difference there are. And the, uh, the Acura, the TZ650 in M3, but both play you know, structure really quite different on the measured flex of the shaft. But we'll do a little bit, so a little bit of a chat about that, but then we'll get a bit of data and show you what difference it actually makes. So um, we'll pop those together. I'll give you, start off with that. We'll pop that into the uh, tailor-made head. So traditionally, the, the viewpoints on flex have been very much a case of, you know, soft, you know, too soft goes left, too stiff goes right. Historically, there's been, you know, where most people probably still believe it to be. You know, and that you'd use a softer shaft to get the toe whipping through and to correct the slice, and you'd use a stiffer shaft to stop the toe coming through, you know, hold onto the face and, uh, and get it, you know, get it anti-left. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a, you know, a frequency measure on this. So that one there, you know, the TPT, two on three CPM. So frequency on the FM, on the rifle scale, 3.0. So really for a driver shaft, that's very much into the, um, I guess of soft regular A-flex. Um, so we'll switch that and put the Acura in. I think you know, years back with shafts, there really was only shaft flex to talk about. You had, you know, certainly in steel, you had heavy and stiff, heavy and regular, heavy and extra stiff. Um, and most of the options, most of the options were in that kind of heavier end, they're all kind of 120 gram plus. Um, whereas now we can go down to, you know, in steel, we can go down to 80 grams on iron shaft. So um, you see how the, uh, the Acra comes out at. Let's do one more of those. So you're pretty different, 242. So yeah, so looking at the, you know, the FM scale, 3.0 to 5.9, you know, 29 cycles there. That's, that's the equivalent of kind of three, traditionally we see three flex ranges. So you know, going from a, you know, what would be termed almost more of a, a stiff flex, you know, 5.9, 6.0 in terms of rifle frequency, really quite strong, uh, and 3.0 more of an A flex. So let's uh, get a little bit of data, uh, and uh, and then we can talk through it from there. So this one's more, more where I would expect to play, closer to my kind of spec, a little bit lighter than I'd play in shaft weight, but. A similar playing flex. Yeah, going to feel stronger for you in terms of the shaft staying with you as you swing it. And I think that's that's one of the the key things to talk about is a mixture of what the what the flex actually changes in performance, but then what it does to the person swinging it as well. Yeah, because the thing if the profile of the shaft where it's flexing isn't quite working for your swing, you're then making sort of changes, mm. especially good players, they'll adapt to that. Yeah. But what you're then, you're losing out performance because essentially you're going away from what you're naturally good at. So I'm gonna try and just swing these two shafts, just hit them and see what difference it makes. So I'll just turn through the back. And so, yeah, we know this you know, structurally a very strong shaft, very stable, um, you know, has that feel to it. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you go along. You most people would expect a stiff shaft to feel connected uh, and you know, tight through impact, which it certainly does. Let's give that one more here. It's a solid hit there. Good. And I think yeah, for someone whose miss has always been left, for me that's quite a comfortable feel. Yeah. Um, because of how firm it is, it minimises some of that loading and twisting, uh, a little bit of the shaft droop, but 
feels quite tight at impact. So it doesn't feel like you're getting any kick to it. Yeah. So it makes it easy for me to just turn through the shot and, and finish the swing. Um, but we can see there, you know, yeah, nice data. You know, 30 launch, 2-3 on spin, 155, and you know, 147 efficiency there. So, you know, your nice efficient ball flight. Yeah, take that all day long, especially if your miss is left. It's just nice and tight down the fairway, so. Let's see, so, and then we'll go to the soft flex. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a different bend profile, but, you know, predominantly this is really about, this is, you know, the majority of the difference here is the fact that it's three flex ranges softer. Mm. So, you know, straight away, yeah, we all do it. We're all yeah. kind of waggling. So you can see, you can sense a little, you can feel a little bit more movement, but you can see it in the way the shaft reacts as well. So I've got to try and ignore that and just swing. So we're 106, so okay, let's put the same move on. Ah, I'd whip that one over, that's yeah. bad swing. I've, I've flipped that, that's, that's operator error, that one. That's, Okay, so it's just a little higher on the face. I can give that so, yeah. one more. Okay, let's do one more swing with that just to match it. Actually, swing it a little bit quicker if I'll tone that back a little bit. There we go. That feels pretty representative. So, what we can see from a data point of view here is straight away spin rates up. Yeah, and I think that's that's really only one thing we'd look for, yeah. isn't it? Is is more about um, more about the flighting, more about you know, flex on its own. I guess what we need to do there are sort of two points to look at here is one is look at the data, but then maybe explain what's actually going on with the shaft and why why one doesn't see the difference you might expect to out of flex. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you know, you're looking at it, what, what, are you, what are you looking at in particular from those two? Uh, I mean, shots? obviously take on that average, you're looking launch pro, a little bit, I mean, fractionally, but very similar across the board, but it's really that spin, that sort of 300 RPM, mm. that's the big change that you're gonna see there. All of a sudden you see the difference of how you carry the ball more, but, mm the total then gets slightly reduced. So we're looking at that flight. We're looking at how that flex, that bend profile of that shaft has helped get a little bit more flight to it. So we might be mm. looking at someone who wants to sort of get that ball flight a little bit higher. Mm. Maybe they're just struggling to keep the spin rate up. They're finding that they miss strike or not quite just hanging in the air long enough. So mm. definitely that lower profile of the shaft is really helping. Compare that to the TZ6 and you can see it's a nice stronger shaft. It works for you. Um, in terms of keeping that sort of spin low, the launch is at a nice angle. So we're seeing a really good overall ball flight, something nice and steady. So yeah. definitely just from a change of the bend profile, we can actually adapt how the spin, how the flight just stays, keeps the ball in the air a little bit longer. Again, possibly suits someone who's looking for more of a, yeah. a broad flight, someone who might play in hotter, warmer conditions, who wants the ball to carry a bit further. Um, longer fairways, things like this. So yeah. definitely a good winter sort of shaft for that one with a bit more carry. But I think ultimately that, that's really what we're looking at, isn't yeah. it? You've, you've, you've got, I mean, I hit, there was one I, I flipped over, yeah. but you know, the feel out of the aqua shaft for me was more comfortable. And actually it just swung a little bit better. It's a little bit more balanced. The balance is a little more on the tip. That suits my swing slightly more. So it took me less swings to kind of find the neutral, neutral point with it. But actually what we're not seeing is we are not seeing the shaft itself creating a flip and creating a differentiation yeah. in, in shot pattern, in, in direction. Yeah. Um, so what we'd be looking for is that spin profile. Yeah. Um, and, and actually then, the, and then as we alluded to earlier, the player's response to that feel. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, oh, my miss is always being left. The last thing I want to, want to sense is a, a too much movement, too much give from the shaft because it's just not something I'm used to feeling. And the traditionally stiffer shafts and stronger tips are what I've always used, so it's a comfortable thing. So I, I transition, I feel the club move, and automatically what happens is I'm, I'm not used to that, and in the back of my brain is going, I don't like this, yeah. and then you back off it a little bit. Yeah. But actually, what the flex is doing, and if we can, I guess if we explain, so we'll go to the, this camera over here. 
So flex is traditionally measured by clamping the butt end of the shaft as Tom was doing oscillating it and measuring the, the frequency of the oscillation of the shaft. Um, so where the, the CPM number, that's the, the frequency number. Um, the FM number, the, the kind of the rifle frequency, is then it, um, so against the length calculation, it, it, it works out a, a, a number-based flex band, uh, of which, you know, so 6.0 is broadly speaking a stiff flex, 5.0 would be more of a firm, 4.0 a regular, and, and so on, broadly speaking. So what the flex of the shaft does, the softer it is, as we start down, that shaft loads more in that way, so in the direction, the plane of movement. So it loads a little bit more that way, and then as we rotate around, it twists. What it's not doing is it's not flipping it that way. And that's Which is what everyone, what, yeah, assumes. everyone assumes. Go stiffer, that's going to stop that. Go sort of lighter, regular feel, it's going to turn it that way. But mm. it doesn't. It's more the case of where that profile is, of just how it kicks up. So, yeah, again, it's encouraging people to actually look more at weight-based mm. shafts and then where the balance point, where it sort of bends, and that's where you're going to get the differential in your spin. But actually, direction-wise, it's more of that case of, okay, does it change your swing? And yeah. that's what we look for in a fitting. Is it changing your swing? Is it making it worse? Is it making it better? Yeah. And subsequently, we're trying to make it as good as we can yeah. do. So when you step out on the first tee, you're going to feel like every drive you hit is nice and stable and going to go down the fairway. Yeah. So the key thing when, you, when we're looking at flex is, one, what, what feel, what does someone want to like the response of? Yeah. You know, when, when you change a flex, I mean, ultimately, we're going to tie into weight first and timing. That's what we'd go into first. And then you're using the shaft, it's flex, for its feel, its bend profile for its feel, and the combination of the two to manipulate along with the head, manipulate the flight and the responsiveness and, and the, the experience of someone to use it. Yeah. yeah, You've got to look forward to hitting the shot. Yeah, definitely. And if you get to the top of your backswing and it's not feeling like a comfortable shaft, you're not going to hit good drives with it. Mm. So you've got to really feel on the way down that that driver is something you can trust and that shaft really is something that's working to you. And that's going to be different for everyone. And um, no two shafts are going to be yeah. the same when you play them. So yeah, just look out for that when you have your next fit in mm. because really flex doesn't make as much of a difference as you think yeah. in terms of how it stops the ball going left and right. Yeah, so look beyond the flex and also what, what the flex letter on the shaft means. Again, we're looking at you with the, 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 the flex measurement on the shafts. You've got you know, the Acura, the M3, that is their regular flex, but that's playing a stiff. So all of these things go into the mix when we're looking at shafts and why you might use one versus the other. But when purely going on flex, it is not something to be overly scared of. Where if the weight's not changing, if the, the balance point's not changing, you can actually play a very, very wide range of actual kind of amount of bend in the shaft and all it's going to really affect is how it feels to swing and a little bit in the trajectory. So key thing, don't get caught up on flex. Just make sure that it swings well, times well, feels good to use, and let the, let the fitter find the optimal performance for you. Yeah, and then you will have the confidence to really, well, be hitting a lot more fairways and hopefully yeah. as longest drives you can hit because you trust what's coming down at the uh, ball. Great stuff. So, so don't worry too much about flex. Weight, balance point, and let uh, let the experience of the fitter find the find the best product for you from there.